All right. Well, I'm glad everybody's back again today. Um, we're going to be doing uh, something I think that might be new to you um, today. We're going to be working on a comprehension strategy. Now, you might have done something like this before just on your own that you just thought up on your own because um, sometimes, you know, sometimes you've just figured it out on your own. But what we're going to teach is a specific way to do this. And uh, we're going to be working on something that is, that is sometimes called coding, coding text. So that's a, you know what a code is. Well, this is a way that you can mark text to help you to keep track of your understanding of what you're reading. And I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to show you how it can be done using a think aloud. And I've done these think alouds with you before, which just means that I'm going to say out loud what, I'm, what I would be thinking while I was reading. We know that when you're reading silently, you're not talking out loud. But if I'm going to try to demonstrate how I'm thinking, I have to make it out loud because you can't see what's going on up here. So I'm going to do a think aloud to demonstrate for you this strategy, which is a way to monitor your comprehension. It's called a comprehension monitoring strategy. And what's a monitor? You think what? What? Think about when you've heard the word monitor used before. What do you think a monitor is? Observing. Observing. That's part of it. What do you think? Who's a monitor? When somebody is monitoring, a hall monitor is doing watching, checking on. Yes, exactly. So uh, um, when you're monitoring your comprehension, that means you're watching it, you're checking on it. Have you ever been in a situation when you're reading, when you get all the way down to the end of the page and you realize, oops, I wasn't paying attention? Uh-huh. So, yeah, exactly. Doggone it, I got to start over. Well, the comprehension monitoring strategies are good for helping to keep you from doing that. They keep you focused. Okay, so that's what this is going to be about. It's going to be about showing you something you can do to keep you focused on the meaning of what you're reading so you don't just kind of lose your place and lose track and because you're reading for a reason you're reading to understand it and if you stop paying attention you know then you kind of miss out on a thing or two now here's the code let me first introduce what this code is about <clears throat> this is a pretty simple one I think it's just got three different kinds of marks I'm going to show you how it works so if this doesn't make sense don't worry about it I'm going to show you one way you can mark text is you can put a little exclamation point next to something that you think is really new and or maybe surprising. You know, say, wow, I didn't know that. Really? That's where you put the exclamation point. And then sometimes when you're reading, you come across a word you don't know the meaning of, or you read the sentence and you think, that didn't make sense. Or you stop in the middle of the sentence and you say, okay, now I'm confused. Okay, that's when you put a question mark. Anytime you get to something that you don't understand or you're not sure about it, even if you're not sure about it, and you, now, you know, that doesn't mean that you're going to be stuck forever. You might find the answer if you keep on reading. But for now, you're monitoring your comprehension, and for now, you've got a question mark. Everybody has that. When you're reading, you read something difficult, you go, uh-oh, I'm confused. Okay, we're just saying mark it so that you don't forget. Maybe you'll get it later, but for now, you're confused. Okay. And then I'm suggesting there that you make a check mark when you come to something that you know is important. This looks like something important. This might be on the test. This is an important fact. This is the main idea. Something like that, OK? The other thing you can do, if you like to do this, is underline or highlight. Um, so I was always a big highlighter um, when I was studying something. So that's another thing you can do for the important parts. If there's an important word or an important phrase or something you think is important, you want to remember it, you can underline it. And the other thing you can do is sometimes you'll find out that there's a sentence that introduces something, and then there'll be several examples of it afterward. Sometimes you might want to put numbers by those. Say, oh, I, OK, that's another one of those. That's two. So and I'm going to show you how all of this works, and then we'll put this back up later. For now, does this make sense? What we're going to do, does this make sense? Okay. 